He said he recently lost his home. He recently became homeless. Karen's like threatening the guy. Oh! 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 My heart hurts. What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Likey Bar. Yeah. Today we're watching a video about a homeless man that gets his dog taken away. Oh no! Anything helps. You got a sandwich. <laughs> Here you go, Scott. He needs this more than oh, I do. Oh, wow, man. Wow. So he actually gave the sandwich to the dog instead of eating it himself. That's crazy, man. Excuse me. Is that your dog? Yes, it is. His name is Scout. Poor thing. He deserves a better home. Not to be living out here on the street. Well, I wish I had a home. Just lost it recently, and the things have been so... It's really irresponsible of you. You shouldn't be taking care of a dog when you can't even take care of yourself. Hey, Scout? Is he even feeding you? I mean, he obviously is, man. Okay, now this is real deep already. I could tell. So you guys just heard it. He said he recently lost his home. He recently became homeless. Not like it's been going on a long time or whatever. And he fed that dog. He's taking care of the dog. Why does she just show up out of nowhere and be mean, dude? Yeah, that's very true. I'm I'm worried that I might cry in this Don't video. cry, Adam. You shouldn't be taking care of a dog when you can't even take care of yourself. Hey, Scout. Is he even feeding you? Do you want a real home? I'm feeding him? I may not always eat, but I always make sure he's well fed. He's not going anywhere. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> see how crazy she sounded? Oh yeah? We'll see about that! What do you mean we'll see about that? Leave him alone, man. He's trying his best. He's feeding his dog, man. I'm going to call animal control. You don't deserve to have a dog. Hi, yes, this is Karen Kaufman. I'd like to report a case of animal abuse. Thank you. Man, sorry. You must be out too, huh? Oh, man. See, guys, he's caring for the dog. He's sharing. You can see. Look at the detail, man. Shout out, Dart, man. You can see there's empty bottles everywhere. Probably running out of water. It's hot outside, but he's giving the last of his water to his doggie. Right, and meanwhile, he's getting tattled on by Karen. Dude, why does Karen just show up and tattle, bro? She said, hello, I'd like to report animals being mistreated. Why, man? Yeah. There he is. That's the guy that's neglecting that dog. Excuse me, sir. We have a report of animal neglect. When's the last time he's eaten? Just a few hours ago, I gave him my sandwich. Why? Yeah, right. You can tell he's obviously lying. That dog probably hasn't eaten for days. Do you have a home for him to sleep in? Well, it may not be considered a home to some, but we make it work. See? This dog needs a real home. Not to be stuck out here with him. Jacob, what do you think's going on over there? Okay, so it looks like Karen pulled up with the animal control. <laughs> and we got like a mom over here with her son and they're just watching. They're seeing everything go down. Now, Justin, what do you think the mom and her son are gonna do? She might give the dar man what? <laughs> to the dog. To the dog. <laughs> dog man. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Jacob, what do you think's going on over there? I think they're trying to take the guy's dog away. I'm gonna record it. Look, there's a new law that passed. If you don't have a home in this town, you can't have a dog. We're gonna have to take him. No, wait, please, you don't understand. I can't be without him. We both need each other. You see, I wasn't always homeless. I used to have a respectable job. And on one of my walks home from work, well, that's when I met Scout. He didn't have a home. And he just looked so sad. 
But when I took one look into his big old eyes, I just knew I had to take him with me. I brought Scout home and took really good care of him. I watched him every week. I fed him the best food. And before I knew it, Scout looked like a brand new dog. <laughs> My heart hurts! That is so heartwarming. Dude, I get it, man. So this guy found his doggy Scout when Scout was homeless. Wow. And now, Scout's gotta be there for him when he's homeless. Exactly, or guys. Or something, I don't know. But what's really going on, bro, is that kid and his mom, they're filming, dude. They're filming. They're gonna post this on TikTok. It's gonna go super viral, dude. Wow, Scout's gonna get the clout. Let's go, Scout clout, bro. <laughs> we were inseparable. And things were going great. That is, until a few months later, I lost my job and all of a sudden had no income coming in. I got really behind on some bills and ended up owing $4,000 in rent. With no way to pay, we both lost our home. So you see, Scout needed me when he was homeless. And now, I'm the one that's homeless. So somehow, we both just need each other. <laughs> yeah, that's a great story and all, but, but we don't know how much of it is really true. Either way, rules are rules, right? Yo, what's her problem, bro? She listened to that whole heartwarming story and said, I don't care. <laughs> what? <laughs> how do you not care? Have a heart. <laughs> Come on, man. Rules are rules. How much of it is really true? Either way, rules are rules, right? Uh, right. Let's take him. What? Wait, no! Sir. I can't lose, Scout. Sir. Sir, when you get your home back, you can have your dog back. If the dog hasn't found a home by then. Why does she do that, bro? Karen's like threatening the guy. Like, <laughs> Why, dude? This is sad, man. If the dog hasn't found a home by then. Ready, Scout? Should we go find you a new home? No. Scout! Sir? I'm so sorry. I can't believe that happened to you. Yeah, it's so unfair. I mean, I saw how good you treated that dog. We gotta do something. It's no use. If I don't have a home, I can't have a dog. And unless I find a way to get $4,000, I'll never get Scout back. We gotta do something. GoFundMe. What? We can start a GoFundMe. Look, we can, uh, we can tell everyone about the story about how you found Scout, and I'm sure that people would want to donate. You really think that that's going to work, Jacob? Yeah. Please just let me try it. Okay, I see where this is going. This guy is real smart. So there's a website called GoFundMe where you could like, um, you could set up stuff and people could donate or something like that. Oh, so they're probably gonna post the video. It's gonna go viral and then everyone's gonna donate to Scout to reunite him with their owner. Let's go! <sighs> okay, if you think it'll work. Yes, okay. My computer's at home. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Jacob runs off so excited about helping to get Scout back to his rightful owner. He gets to his laptop and starts a GoFundMe page, telling the world all about Scout and the need to bring him back home. He sets a goal of raising $4,000. And before he knew it, the story about Scout ends up going viral. People all over the world start donating money. Oh, the 
they made way more money than they needed, bro. That dog is now rich. That dog it has clout. And they got a bunch of money, dude. Wow, they're gonna be able to buy so much water and so, sandwiches. Lots of dog food, dude. <laughs> now, the cool part about this is not that they succeeded in raising the money. That's amazing. The cool part, though, is I think this kid deserves an award because that has the dog and the guy have nothing to do with him out of the kindness of his heart. He went home and he did all the work, bro. Right, Respect. that guy is awesome. Respect. People all over the world start donating money. Jacob and his mom can't believe what just happened. And then, a couple of days later, Jacob and his mom go visit the homeless man. Excuse me, sir? Oh, hi. Wasn't sure if I'd ever see you again. Of course. Now look, we actually have a little surprise for you. What is it? Why don't you come with us? I know it seems strange, but can you put on the blindfold? <sighs> okay. Right here, almost there, and stop. <sighs> you can take off the blindfold now. <laughs> okay, this is my old apartment, but I understand what are we doing here? Actually, this is your new apartment. Here are your keys. What? <laughs> you paid off my $4,000 past due rent? Even better. We bought the unit from the owner, so you own it now. I own it? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> but I don't understand. Wow, they didn't just pay off the rent. They used all the money. They basically just bought him his own home, man. And I bet when he opens the door, Scout's gonna be right there for him. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> but I don't understand. You know the GoFundMe idea that we had? Well, let's just say that it worked and we got just enough money to buy the place. <sighs> wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is going to change my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I have one more surprise. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, oh, wow. wow! I can't believe you got Scout back. I can't tell you what this means to me. God bless you both. You're so welcome. God bless you too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man! Wow! Let's go. That story was amazing, guys. Hey, guys, help other people out if you see stuff like this go down. Um, help them out or something. And lesson learned: don't be like the Karen trying to just cause mischievous stuff for no reason. Right. Be nice to everyone. Man. All right, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com and get LankyBox plushies. Man, that story was so lit, man. Yeah. That guy got reunited with his dog, Scout. <laughs> We're going to go get some takeout. Yeah. <laughs>